friends, it's Sarah from Late Night Coffee Moms. I'm coming, oh, of course, as soon as I turn on something, it gets in my eye. I'm coming from a different corner of my house because my desk is destroyed. And I just wanna give a shout out to anybody who's taken the whole quarantine thing and totally, um, you know, decluttered or redecorated or something their house because that's not me. I haven't been able to even uh, think about that kind of stuff. But anyway, it's been a long time. So I'm going to come back on hopefully right after this and I'm going to do like a, a, just a chat with you. But what I really wanted to do is I have been in God's word. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, I have been in God's word a lot recently. Uh, he's helped me make a bigger habit of being in his word. And I am really appreciative of that. But where I've been spending my time is in first Peter and I thought I'd walk along with you guys through first Peter so this is how it's gonna roll I would love to promise to be on here every day hitting up the next chunk of verses with you guys but as you might have noticed with my five days of prayer thing I never stopped praying but I did stop getting on camera it was just too much I was trying to ask myself to do too much during this crazy time so um if you've sent me prayer requests i have been praying for you i will keep praying for you i pray for every person who shows up on my um page whether i know them or not and uh, my son's over here playing video games so you might hear him get excited every once in a while but um so here's how it's gonna roll i'm gonna read a couple verses in first peter and i'm gonna read it first in this bible which is the new um the New Living Translation. This is the Inspire Bible. I think I've shown you that before. And it has like the coloring pages and stuff in it. Anyway, so I'm, I'll read it first in that. And then I'm going to read it in the New uh, New King James Version. So you get two different versions. And then I, on camera, am going to write it out. Like, so totally ugly. I don't. Um, lettering and calligraphy I love those and I admire people who can do those but I am not that kind of person so writing the scripture helps me slow down and look at the words and then also gives me some place to go back and take notes um, that might more directly apply to what's going on in my life at the moment that I might not want to put in my Bible or it might just take up too much time so I encourage you to write along with me or color along with me or sit and be quiet think over what we've just read together maybe the differences in the translations will speak to you um i think i'm getting a glitch on my facebook feed let's see yeah i feel like i'm in a disco okay but hopefully it's gonna work for you uh whenever i've done something like this i mean we did our 90 days through the new testament i've done some praying things with you guys before there is an attack on my family of some sort or another so i'm just gonna ask you guys if you're following along to just give an extra shout out for my family because i am stepping up against the enemy and he will try to counter and <laughs> my son's doing something did you win something big over there Cheer. <laughs> um so just be ready for that in your life too if you decide to dive into any kind of new study or any kind of new anything with god Okay, so we're in First Peter, and I'm going to read First Peter one through uh, one through two, and then I am going to write verse two. Okay, so first in the New Living Translation, <clears throat> this letter is from Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ. I am writing to God's chosen people who are living as foreigners in the provinces of Pontus, Galatia, Cappad Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Bithynia. God the Father knew you and chose you long ago, and his spirit has made you holy. As a result, you have obeyed him and been cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. May God give you more and more grace and peace. Yes, please. I could use some more grace and peace. More and more. I love that. That's more and more. Okay. Now we're going to go into the uh, New King James Version. First uh, Peter 1, 1 through 2. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the pilgrims of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, 
elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, in sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace be multiplied. All right. So those are the two versions I'm going to read aloud. And I am going to go ahead and write verse 2. And I would love for you to join me or just sit in thought while I'm writing. And then I'm going to come back and um, we'll pray together. And then that will be the end of this one. it down and I just get like a different color pen and because I'm writing I don't know if you've ever watched any of my lives or videos before but you will know I have like a pen obsession so, so I have a lot right here I finished my verse you guys might have finished sooner or you might be slower than I am don't don't judge yourself just take your time look I'm serious I told you I'm not a lettery person not even every word is spelt right um, this isn't about perfection it's just about spending time with the words with the word and uh, I hope you join me uh, in doing more on first Peter but for right now, let's just pray and go about our day, right? Okay. Oh. Father God, thank you for knowing us completely, 100%, the good and the bad. Thank you for knowing every thought and every decision I would ever make, never do. And thank you for choosing me anyway. Lord, help me to love like you love and help me to love you more and more. In this time of crazy, be our peace and help us give each other grace. In the name of Jesus, amen. Alrighty. It's so good to see you guys again. I'll be back in a little bit for an, a kind of life update video.